Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Janet Young, and in my channel, I share about feng shui, ba zi, entrepreneurship, as well as personal growth, especially in the areas of success, motivation, and communication. In today's episode, I will be talking about building multiple streams of income, which is also one of the most voted topics in the poll that I posted up previously. What does it mean by utilizing your ba zi? in terms of building multiple streams of income while you're moving towards your final and ultimate innate talent and potential. So if you have not subscribed and you're new to my channel, welcome and thank you. If you have subscribed, let's move on to the next segment where I'll share more. Let's take a look at what does it mean by building multiple streams of income. Now, it could be looked at from the perspective of entrepreneurship. And entrepreneurship, if we were to look at it, what is the meaning? There are different people who say that entrepreneurs have to be successful. They have to build a big multinational business and he has to reach a certain level of success. What I'm looking at is when you define entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship is any activity from a business perspective that you take financial risks in the hopes of getting profit. That would already be entrepreneurship. If we were to look at it this way, then there are four different types of entrepreneurs that we're looking at. We're looking at small business entrepreneurs, for instance, those who start up online stores, gig economy, those are one type of small business entrepreneur. You have those with the aim of scaling their business. A lot of the IT startups are in this. These are called scalable startups in terms of entrepreneurship. Then we have the third type, which are basically those that are large enterprises, which employs many, many people so that they can scale their businesses. These are what we call the large company entrepreneurships. And of course, there's a new category because in today's world, there are a lot of businesses that are started up in terms of helping others within their community, not necessarily from a profit perspective. Those are called the social enterprises or social entrepreneurship. So there you have it. You have the four different types of entrepreneurship. So when we talk about building multiple streams of income, I'm looking at it more from the small business perspective because I think I have a lot of clients who are basically maybe at their crossroads or thinking in their future, how can they build an additional stream of income, especially with the coming period nine, where a lot of things are not very stable. So in today's video, I'll share with you the four crucial steps that we need to look at when building multiple streams of income based off of my experience utilizing my balance chart. How I basically quit my job, build from a single source of income to now more than 10 streams of income. I'd like to share with you how I've utilized Ba Zi as well as some of the learning steps or experiences that I have. And let's start off with the first part of it. The first step when you're actually looking at building multiple streams of income, it is crucial for you to remember that it is a mindset. And that mindset, it's not so much about being successful in the first of your enterprise. It's the mindset of basically taking on it as an adventure, as an experiment. So let me share with you. I think after I quit my job in corporate, when I first started out having a push cart in the shopping mall, it was not so much about wanting to earn money, but more from the perspective of testing out whether really placing feng shui items does it really work. Rather than experiencing and experimenting it on myself, why don't I basically get supplies and utilize my feng shui knowledge and then sell the items and see whether does it benefit anybody else and if it does, they will come back to me. And that's how my journey in Chinese metaphysics and entrepreneurship started and I've never looked back on it as well. So the most crucial thing is whenever you are trying to start a new business or a new stream of income. Of course, you have to do all the research, but I think the mindset and attitude that you should have is basically knowing that there may be 
failures involved so therefore what can you learn from it so the spirit or the mindset should be one of taking an experiment having an adventure and then learning from it rather than putting so much pressure and responsibility on yourself such that you have to be successful so that is one of the most crucial thing in terms of mindset in step number one that you're looking at when you're trying to build that additional stream of income especially if you have already been in a corporate or stable job for a long time if you've never taken on any kind of risk uh, and have never had done any business it is not going to be one time you will succeed as a lot of the experience and research has shown 90 percent of businesses fail within the first seven years so even if you have a stable stream of income a stable new additional income or revenue stream it doesn't promise that it will stay like this forever that's why you, there is a need to build the additional stream and that's what i've also seen in my businesses my retail business that i started off with contribute to a huge percentage at the beginning but right now it is actually only one small percentage of my revenue streams so that's the first step the second step in terms of building multiple streams of income is you need to utilize tools and what tool do I use? I utilize my Baza chart. So when we look at the Baza chart, if you remember when I shared in the last series on personal growth, it is to look at it from a 10 year luck pillar, the annual luck pillar in terms of personal growth and skill sets to build. But the ultimate end goal or destination is what is your innate most talent and potential that you should build, which is usually pointed out by your base profile as well as your day master. And I've shared before that mine is that of yin fire as well as leader. So therefore, I would really like to basically influence people. So that's basically the ultimate end goal or destination that will make me happy in terms of building my ultimate potential and talent. So for each of the luck cycle and as well as the annual influences, you look at it utilizing your answer chart like a map of opportunities okay so what you do is then with each luck cycle you'll be looking at what are the skill sets that you should be picking up from which i shared in a lot of my videos especially on the asian personality profiling series as well as my annual personal growth series itself so when you pick up those skill sets okay it is also important for you to remember that the skill sets is not generally at one specific spot for instance, if we look at the profile of Diplomat, Diplomat is really about following a certain structure okay, to build recognition and responsibilities. However, when you are looking at that, you can be basically building that skill set in a corporate setting by climbing the corporate ladder. Or it could be if you are already in your own business or planning to start your own business, building the brand name of yourself or the business that you have already built. So it's very important that when you are utilizing your master chart, that you do not basically say, okay, this is my destiny and that's it. That's the only skill set I should be learning. And this is the specific area. Do not box yourself in because what we look at from the Barter chart like a map you may see the destination but there are multiple ways of getting to that destination it's not fixed in terms of how you want to get there so in my case for instance i knew that in the year 2020 there will be a huge shift in terms of my luck pillars because of my luck cycle change and in it what is showing it's also the diplomat profile so i basically open up three different sets of pathways one in terms of building curriculum and went for my diploma in curriculum development i also started a business to connect trainers to corporates because of digital marketing and at the same time i also started doing youtube videos from a personal branding perspective and all of it is connected to the profile influence of diplomat that's coming in this new luck cycle and when COVID hit, basically the other two closed off and my YouTube channel in terms of views went up and thank you. I have been actually producing videos since 2020. So this is what it means. When you're looking at your Baza chart, it is critical to look at it like a map. Create different pathways and opportunities for yourself such that 
when each luck cycle comes, not only do you pick up new skill sets, you also think about building additional new income stream. Do not basically say, when am I going to retire? And therefore, when should I build the additional income stream? Start today, start now. Start building the skill set and start experimenting because of the new mindset that you have on what would be helpful in terms of building the additional stream because not all income streams like I mentioned will be successful at its first try and for me even if I have a very successful income stream 10 years ago it doesn't mean that it will be contributing to the biggest percentage today especially when we're moving towards period 9 where everything is shifting everything is changing and nothing is constant so that's step number two what is step number three so in step three we will talk about understanding the concept of cash flow investment of effort and return it is crucial that when you are looking at building the additional stream of income it is basically in the hopes of having that additional cash flow so whatever businesses that you are exploring do not just look at the top line revenue meaning how much you can sell but also look at how much can you collect back and how much investments you have to put in before you see the returns because what you are trying to do is if you are especially if you are in a stable job right now you are looking at the additional stream of income whether it will come in on a regular basis so if today you decide that you want to invest in a stock and hope for capital gains how many years down the road will you see that return in terms of cash flow if you're starting that new business how much money do you have to put in before you can see the return in terms of cash flow because at the end of the day it's not how much money you make okay it's about how much money you have to be able to utilize let me give you an example to give you further insight if you are someone who's earning a hundred thousand dollars a year your expenses is probably maybe forty fifty thousand your cash flow would be about fifty to sixty thousand dollars that you can utilize. However, if you are someone who basically earns lots of money, maybe you are scaling your startup, your revenue in terms of earnings is one million. However, in order to maintain a certain lifestyle, because you are a successful business startup, or you are someone who wants the big condo, drive nice cars end up you actually have an expense of 1.2 million dollars so you are actually at a deficit of two hundred thousand dollars so in this case let me ask you which person the first scenario the one who earns a hundred thousand or the second one who earns 1.2 million would have better cash flow and therefore be able to enjoy their life so that's one of the key things you are looking at in terms of cash flow i think when you are starting that additional stream of income be prepared that not all businesses will succeed. So that's where I'll lead you to the second point in step three, which is about investment of effort and return. Sometimes in terms of a new business, it could be just your effort without a lot of cost, okay? And especially if someone is willing to come up with the capital and you're just creating the additional source of income based on your creativity and your efforts and then looking at how long before the returns come and it's crucial that you do not just focus on the outcome because then you will usually not enjoy the entire process itself so when you're looking at building that additional stream of income the third concept that is very important is understanding the concept of cash flow the investment of efforts and return and understanding that not all new income streams that you create okay will generally be able to give you that return immediately it may come maybe five to six years down the road so for instance when i wrote the books i don't see much book royalty until probably a couple of years later and it may not necessarily be in terms of return in terms of actual book royalty it is actually building on my credibility such that it increases my revenue in terms of consultations as well so that's how you look at building additional streams of income a lot of all these concepts i discuss how you can build and share it in my building multiple streams of income course which i will have the links down below so you can go to the link and then explore if this particular course is useful for you so utilizing parts like i mentioned in step two then at every luck cycle you will be picking up new skill sets and building that additional stream of income and by the time you reach 
your 50s or 60s, you have multiple streams of income. Do not start only when you decide to retire. You start today, however young you are, learn the skill set and just experiment to see whether there's that idea that you have, this new skill set that you build will bring you that additional stream of income. So that's step number three, understanding the concept of cash flow, return on investment of efforts as well as resources. Now, coming to the final step, I think that is one of the most crucial things that has helped me in my entire journey and learning in life now that I'm in my 50s. I think the key thing about this particular journey in building the multiple streams of income is really about enjoying the journey and learning from the entire process. I would like to reiterate, it is not about the ultimate outcome. You may have a destination in terms of building your skill set on what you like to do in the long term, what will make you happy in the longer term, but it is the destination, it is not the outcome. Okay, so what you would like to focus on, like I mentioned, use your ba zi and have the right mindset in terms of creating different pathways because three pathways you created, if one shuts down, you have two. Even if two shuts down, you have additional one. That was what happened to my case when COVID strike and it helped in basically maintaining my income stream and not letting it fall, especially when a lot of corporate clients basically stop their consultations during the COVID situation. So I think this is one important point that I'd like to reiterate. When you are going on this journey of building multiple streams of income, remember it is in the aims of increasing your income stream. Not everything will basically go like how you plan, so long as you have options. And even if you fail with all your options, learn from the experience because that experience itself will help you on building your next income stream. That's what I've learned in terms of building from one to more than 10 streams of income over these years. And with that, I'd like to end today's video. I hope you have learned and enjoy what I've shared with you and hope that you can pick up some tips that may help you in your journey in building multiple streams of income. If you'd like to know more about other videos where I share about this topic, I will have the links in the video description. Visit those links, watch the videos. If you'd like to know more about the course, the links will be below as well. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.